If the government is capable of using its institutions as weapons against certain political viewpoints, just think what they'll do with Obamacare. How much power, how much leverage do they have over the country now that they have access to your medical records and to mine? Forget the power of the IRS. This has the capability to be a thousand times worse. And it makes you wonder why the Ministry of... I'm sorry. I mean the Supreme Court was so eager to rewrite the law to make it legal. You see, morality is getting phased out in this nation. In the vacuum left behind, there's a, neat, there's a new ethos, excuse me, emerging. Don't believe in same-sex marriage? You're a homophobe. You don't agree with banning the Confederate flag? You, my friend, are a racist. How about not believing in the redistribution of wealth? You obviously hate poor people. How about amnesty? Do you believe in that? No? Well, you obviously hate Mexicans. How about man-made global warming? Of course not. That makes you a science denier. But you believe in God, and that makes you an extremist zealot. I'm an author, and we all trade in words, and we know that words matter. We can't even say radical Islam anymore. They're erasing it from all the State Department manuals. Fort Hood, in fact, was labeled workplace violence even though Nadal Hassan made clear he was waging jihad, shouting Allahu Akbar during the shooting. But calling him an Islamic terrorist wasn't politically correct. Muslims complained. Progressives lashed out at conservatives for bigotry. But four years later, from death row, Hassan penned a letter to ISIS head Baghdadi asking to be allowed to join. And his attorney even said he wasn't at all surprised by that letter. Quote, it's consistent with his position all along. Religious fervor underscores much of his life, his actions, his thought process. He really didn't get into much of that during the trial because it was prohibited. It was prohibited? At a trial? Why? Well, the answer is that it doesn't fit the party line. It's a viewpoint in opposition with Big Brother and state propaganda. This act of terrorism was changed to mean something entirely different. And changing the meaning of words has consequences. Progressives have unleashed a war on thought. And since speech governs thought, political correctness is being used to change the way we speak and even the meaning of our words. Justice Scalia was right when he incredulously said, words no longer have meaning if an exchange, meaning a healthcare exchange, that is not established by a state, is established by the state. Words do matter. They have meaning. Twisting them, changing them, and limiting them is a dangerous precedent. As George Orwell said in 1985, if thought corrupts language, language can also corrupt thought.